Hi, and welcome to Catherine Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today I'm going to be reviewing Batman issue 21. So finally, we are going to get a little more insight into the button. I'm so excited. This has been something that we've been teased and taunted about since way back when last summer with the Rebirth special issue one. So first off, I'm in love with this cover. I don't care who thinks I'm a nerd for it, but yes, I'm going to take a second to do this. <laughs> All right, so jumping right on into the issue, we get to see Arkham Asylum, and they're letting some of the patients of Arkham watch a hockey match and this hockey match is kind of important because two of the players end up getting into a fight one ends up ultimately killing the other well one of the arkham patients arkham inmates whatever you want to call them arkham patient because she's not really a bad guy at all is Saturn Girl, and if you've been reading Supergirl, if you checked out uh, earlier on in the Batman series in the uh, I Am Suicide storyline and a lot of other things, you'll know a bit more about what's going on with Saturn Girl in Arkham right now. So of course she's seen this; she knows what's going to happen. She's like, "He's going to kill him." He's going to die. She freaks out. She gets restrained, the whole thing. Well, back in the Batcave, we get to see, of course, Batman is finally addressing this damn button. It is no longer being locked away in a corner. We're like, oh, you can't talk about it. Jeff Johns says you're not allowed to talk about it. Well, you know what, God Johns? We're talking about the button, this issue. God Johns? Yes. God Johns. God Johns. It's Honey Bendis and God Johns. Uh-huh. That's his name is God Johns. Now, well, Jeff Johns. It's so. <laughs> Anywho, so I love it because we get to see Batman just like twiddling the button in between his fingers. Like someone would do a coin. And he's thinking about it and we get to see them going through the fight of the hockey match and just how just horrific this fight is until finally he turns it off. And he just flips the button off his fingers. And the button connects with Psycho Pirate's mask. And when that happens, it has a adverse reaction and actually jolts Batman. So Batman actually gets to see Earth 2 Batman, who is Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's father from the Earth 2 universe. And he actually reaches out to him. This is something we haven't seen since Convergence, if you read that at all. I'm not really going to get really into that. But, of course, you know, it's really something for your dead father to be standing right in front of you. But Batman ends up calling in Barry, the Flash. He's like, hey, we need to discuss this button. Something happened when it connected with Psycho Pirate's mask. I need you here to help me. So, Flash is on his way, and as we get to see Batman staring at the button, we also find out that Thomas Wayne wasn't the only one to reconnect through this button. So did Reverse Flash. And, uh, yeah, Reverse Flash, if you'll remember him at all from uh, Flashpoint. Same thing with uh, Thomas Wayne's Batman. Thomas Wayne's Batman kills Reverse Flash in that storyline. So Reverse Flash Eobard Thawne isn't exactly a fan of Batman. So he, he decides he's going to have a little bit of fun with Bruce here. So basically we get to see this clock timing just ticking down. There's one minute until the Flash is supposed to get there to the Batcave, right? One minute. Well, a speedster like the Reverse Flash can do a lot of damage 
within one minute. And we're going to find out exactly how much damage. And as each second is ticking by, we get to see how bloody and brutal this fight is turning out to be between these two men. And, I mean, it's just lovely. It's, it's basically Batman is trying to wait out the clock. He's just trying to survive long enough for the Flash to be there. And, you know, Reverse Flash, just being the heartless prick that he is, he finds the note that his fa that Thomas Wayne gave to Barry Allen in, in Flashpoint to give to Bruce Wayne. So this note was basic. If, you know what? I don't want to get into the whole feels tearjerker moment here, but if you've ever read Flashpoint, if you've ever watched the animated movie, you know what the note says. You know that was the one time in history where the Flash made Batman cry, okay? Yes, the note gets you in the feels, and Reverse Flash, being the jerk that he is, decides, huh, you wanted to be a good guy, Thomas. You wanted to reach out to your son. And even though, you know, you're not alive in this timeline, you wanted him to feel loved. That's sweet. So he shreds the letter, knowing that that's just going to kill Bruce. So right after that, Bruce is just screaming at him to get out of his cave. And then we get to see Bruce fighting back. So this entire fight, this entire fight, Reverse Flash has been just racing circles around Batman and saying that there's no way you can touch him, right? Well, Batman tells him that he can only maintain a speed if he has something to stand on. So he takes a battering and he stabs it through Reverse Flash's foot. Of course, this definitely slows down the reverse flash quite a bit. And as you can see here, the clock is still ticking on it. And uh, yeah, reverse flash isn't really gonna take that line down. So he just rips his foot out of where the battering has it stationary. And he's saying that there's no way he's gonna win. Batman can't win this fight. So Batman just, wipes some blood off his mouth and says, I don't need to win. He says, I just need 11 seconds. So we get to see the last 10 seconds of their fight continuing on. Once again, it is a bloodbath. And you know what? This is not Batman getting beaten in a fight. This is Batman getting beat down by a speedster. There's no way he can match Eobard Thon's speed, especially not with the setup that he's currently in. He wasn't expecting to fight a speedster. And you know what? All things considered, he's doing quite well for himself. But ultimately, he's counting it down, and Batman says, one. And then the clock stops. He says, hmm, overtime. It's like, shit. So Eobard Thawne hits him with one last major punch in order to actually knock him out. He's not dead. He's Batman. He's knocked out. But, so, Reverse Flash walks over and he sees the button and he picks it up and he sees all of the screens looking at the button. And he's wondering, what's the mystery behind this? Until finally... He gets hit by a jolt of light. So this is reminiscent of a number of different strange occurrences throughout DC lately. I'm not going to get into all of them, but yes, this is the Watchmen. I'm, I, I'm say everyone's about 95% sure that this is actually Dr. Manhattan attacking all of these people. But, you know, it could be Ozymandias. It, I honestly do believe that they're both involved in the overarching Watchmen plot. Definitely, they're both in cahoots, you know. So, we get to see him saying, I saw God. 
So that's a pretty powerful statement. And while he's screaming that, his flesh and just his life and everything, the muscle tissue, everything's just being eaten away from him. And it's it's a pretty horrific image to see. So there's another crack of lightning. And then we get to see Barry apologizing that uh, he stopped off at the hockey match trying to save the other the other player, hoping that he could try to save him, but he was just too late. And he realizes that wasn't the last time he was too late to save someone this very night. So as the comic ends up, we get to see the reverse flash has been reduced to bones in a suit. And Batman is beaten bloody on the floor of the Batcave. So this is going to be continued on in the Flash issue 21. It's going to be the continuation of the button story. I'm so excited. I'm I can't wait to see no to see more of the Watchmen involvement in the DC continuity finally unfold. I I mean, I love this issue. I felt like the art was great. I love the little time ticker throughout. I love all of the witty moments throughout. I love the fact that Batman's keeping his mental clock just just completely like counting down throughout all the blows. All the punches that man took during that fight and he didn't skip a beat. That's impressive, Bruce. That's impressive. But definitely I was really, really hyped up for this for a couple months. I definitely think that it it did its job. I'm really impressed with this issue. I'm definitely going to be continuing on. I've been loving the hell out of both books so far. So give me a like if you like this review. Comment below and tell me whether or not you picked up Batman issue 21 and if you enjoyed it as much as I am. Are you as excited as I am to see the continuation of the button story and the unfolding of the Watchmen in the new DC continuity? Um, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of my older videos I have for offer here on Catron Figures. And until next time, I'm your host Caitlin. Bye.